I'm in Sarajevo right now, the capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina. And I've heard Bosnia is not the best place for vegan food, but capitals are always different. So we'll see what vegan restaurants we can find. And now let's head to the first one. We're looking for the first vegan restaurant now. Should be around here somewhere. So it doesn't really look like a great place for a vegan restaurant. It looks like a residential area with a few small shops, but we'll see. Found it. We're at Selena's Redina, the first restaurant we're gonna try. First tip, download Google Translate beforehand. There's no English menu, but you can just use Google Translate. I'm gonna start with a matcha latte with pea milk. And super nice cup. As a starter, we're gonna have some soup, broccoli soup and spinach soup. So, I'm gonna try the broccoli soup. Tastes like broccoli. <laughs> Tastes like spinach. <laughs> Now we're gonna have a falafel sandwich and some summer rolls with cashew sauce. We finished all our food and for uh, a coffee, a matcha latte, two smoothies, two soups, a sandwich and a spring rolls, we paid 46.50 uh, mark, like Bosnian Herzegovina converted mark. That's about 24 euros or 26 US dollars. So it's super cheap for so much delicious food. And in all vegan restaurants, usually they're always more expensive. So, yay Sarajevo! We're on our way to a falafel place in the old town of Sarajevo. Actually, we've been to that place a few times already because it's super close to our apartment. They have good falafel and it's quite cheap as well. But it's just a vegetarian place and unfortunately they do not have the vegan things labeled on the menu. But it's falafel, so most things are vegan anyway and you can ask the staff about it. You can get all kinds of falafel here. Today we're gonna have a sharing plate for you. But they also have uh, wraps and burgers and yeah, everything with falafel. We got some takeout from Veganer, an all vegan fast food place. You can go there as well. We've been there before. It's a really small shop. Um, last time we had burger and a uh, sub. Today we're gonna have some wraps. So we have one vegan cheese wrap and one vegetable wrap. Grilled vegetables and chickpeas. The cheese wrap has lentil balls in the middle. We also got some fries as a side. We ordered it on the Globo app and I just found it online. But like I said, you can go there as well. Now let's taste it. So many vegetables inside. It's not the prettiest wrap, but it tastes nice. Next restaurant we're gonna check out is a vegetarian restaurant in the modern part of town. So it's a little bit of a walk from the old town. See if it's worth it. It turns out they don't really have anything vegan because everything got honey in it. So they only have um, porridge, which has honey in it. And today they're out of sandwiches. Usually they also have like a hummus sandwich. We're gonna head to another place, which is even further away from the city center. It's fully vegan and hopefully there we will find some food. Let's go. We found a vegan restaurant, Bistro Stravo. They even have an English menu. I'm gonna try a reishi and chaga super food latte. Never heard that before, so we'll see how it tastes. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> tastes like it's good for you. A little bit like um, soil. I'm sure it's healthy. <laughs> Start up. Cracker with homemade cream cheese. Vegan tuna sandwich. places we've been to, we got the bill in like a chart. At the same time we got the food and when you're ready, you just take the bill, go to the counter and fix. We 
which has had a lot of food, to coffees, to smoothies, to starters and to sandwiches for 46 mark. That's about 23 euros or 25 dollars. It's really nice and it looks super fancy inside, but it's quite far outside from the city center. It takes about 50 minutes to walk from the old town or of course you can just get a taxi. They're not that expensive here. We're back. Today, we're gonna have a smoothie bowl, a Caesar salad and a burger. And this is gonna be our last meal in Sarajevo. It's a very nice dressing, very flavorful. And the chickpeas are like a little bit crunchy and marinated. A nice Caesar salad. It's as healthy as a burger can get. It's better than it looks. <laughs> looks super healthy, but actually it's quite nice. And I really like the sauce. It's kind of a yogurty sauce. I like it when they mix different things, like it's acai with blueberries and something else I forgot. This time we paid 49 mark or 25 euros or 27 US dollars for the smoothie bowl, uh, the salad and the burger, a smoothie, a matcha latte and a cookie and Raffaello. This is already the end of our time in Sarajevo. We've been to three vegan restaurants and two vegetarian ones. Although one of the vegetarian ones doesn't really have any vegan options. Those are the only um, vegan and vegetarian restaurants in all of Bosnia and Herzegovina, according to Happy Cow in 2023. I hope you get some delicious vegan food if you're ever in Sarajevo. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.